Hello. Hello. All right. Well, congratulations on the film. This is so much fun. And, Thank you. Uh, and I think, at what point did you realize that, oh, we've got a hit on our hands? Like, this is. This I, is so I honestly didn't realize how good the film was until I saw it. Because, okay. you know, when you're making the, this kind of animated thing, you really can't see it. I thought the script was great. And we were obviously working with such smart, talented people. You feel like you're in good hands. But. It was a very unusual experience for me anyway because I'd never really done that where you don't know anything really ultimately about how it turns out until you actually see the thing um, and I was very pleasantly surprised how about you well it was fun to it's fun to think um, about all that you've done uh, in the movie and to think of like all the recording sessions and then now to think uh, that you're done with it and uh, see the movie and see that it's uh, and see what all of that came out to be. It's kind of crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It is kind of weird. It's like two and a half years yeah. uh, later you see it. Yeah. Well, plus, plus you two had such a good rapport uh, together uh, on screen, except you only did one scene together in, in the sound. Well, one there. day. One day. So we actually did a couple of scenes, right? Yeah. We did a couple of scenes, but I do think they were important scenes in terms of the chemistry stuff. I'm glad we did it. Um, I'm glad to hear that it translates, but it's it was mainly the, the kind of heart-to-heart -heart stuff between them, you know. Now, what do you suppose is the moment that you'll always remember from, from doing this film? Is there a certain scene that sticks out to you? Um, well, it was fun to work with Ty, um, you know, that was really fun because the first time we met each other, uh, the first thing we did it was uh, was yelling at each other in the scene. So it's fun. It's fun to meet someone like that. <laughs> I think I think my my best day was working with Max actually because yeah. you you get you are kind of on your own in there and it is really nice. It was really nice to have somebody to really you know he's a great young actor <laughs> as you can tell. Yeah from the film, but, you know, when you're actually in the room together, he's a really, he's a great, you know, he is a really good actor, so you're actually getting to, res you know, respond off of another human, which, in the animated thing, it's kind of rare, so that was really fun. Yeah, absolutely. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the show's the Drew Pearson show, and Drew famously caught the Hail Mary pass, and I think everyone has a Hail Mary moment in their life where they just kind of had to go for it, and it worked out for them. What do you suppose that was for you? Hmm. Um, I went, I moved to New York. My mom gave me $3,000 of, of money she didn't really have. She had it, but it was, you know, in her savings and wanted me to pursue my dream. And I didn't, you know, uh, I didn't have a lot of prospects. Let's put it that way. So that was a Hail Mary yeah. for sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> and what was your show pitch moment, the moment you two knew that you were discovered? I don't know. Anything? I'm not sure. What was your first job? Uh, well, my first movie um, was Spider-Man, and I played uh, young Spider-Man. Not a bad, not a a bad take off to a career. <laughs> your first movie so, was Spider-Man. Yeah, so that was that was fun. Oh, that's great. Wow. Yeah. And how about for you? Um, well, Modern Family changed. Uh, definitely changed my career. So I, I've been very lucky to be on it. But my first, uh, the, my first paying job, which was a theater job in Washington D.C., was was kind of was my biggest moment. Still to this day, my biggest moment, just because I couldn't believe that people were paying me to do that, to act. Good. Yeah. Well, and last thing, since I've got the glasses on, if you yeah. had a wayback machine, where would you go? Probably either back to. The old Mr. Peabody and Sherman, or dinosaurs. Oh, good. Uh, I would either go back to watch Buster Keaton and see exactly how it is he did the things that he did, or go back to 1984 and warn myself about cutting my hair into a mullet. <laughs> I love that one. I'd have to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs>